Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's the the Devil's Daughter. Okay. <laughs> What's with the evil witch cackle? Brave Toby, best nose in the British Empire. I remember there was like one mission in the previous one. Oh wait, I can just fast travel, can I? In the previous one where you could uh, use Toby, or you had to use Toby. Okay, Marsh's house. Oh, Watson's here. I was like, I don't look like that. Practical motherhood and parent craft. <laughs> I didn't know Sherlock Holmes. I mean, obviously, again, I don't think he was a real person. Was he? No, he was made by, uh, what's his face? The author whose name I can't think of at this moment. But, um... I wasn't where he supposedly had a fictional daughter in his fictional existence, a fictionalness. Watson, aren't you supposed to have a woman you love or something? I forget, a wife at some point? Maybe. Maybe not. Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... To tell her. To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Oh. Well, that answers a lot of my questions. Is she the devil's daughter? Come in, please. Knock, knock. You might recognize me from the pub. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome. You were to not the man. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Doctor Watson. Oh, your eyes are red, dude. Have you been crying? I'm gonna guess lack of sleep. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, let's see. Anything else about your face? No? Anything here? He is ill. Gold ring. Man of wealth. Actually. No, I don't know. Painkiller. Strong painkiller. Alright, that makes me want to retract my statement about his eyes. This might be from some type of illness. What illness makes you have red eyes, though? Oh, the assistant? No? No, that's not a cooking recipe. Here we go. State of health. His temperature has higher. He has experience was experienced with tightness in the chest and a shortness of breath during the day. Recommend he has pneumonia. No. Appointments. Okay, so that's definitely his journal. Hello, good sir. You are a doctor. Remember a hunting club? Right ho, right ho, good, good, good. Stethoscope, physician. Good, good, excellent. Cheerio, chip, chip. Other English things. Oh, I have everything. I was like, I've missed something. Oh, wait, that one's cyclical. Oh, no. That, okay, never mind. This was the cyclical thing. Mm -hmm, no, that's his face. This was the cyclical thing. It's definitely not a cooking recipe. Okay.
Reuben Fisher is a young man of 25 and already a confident physician. He is well-educated, mannered, and a member of a hunting club. His clothes indicate that he is financially wealthy. Reuben Fisher is not only a physician, he is also Lord Marsh's personal assistant. So that's probably your room in the back. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicated by his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. He has dedicated his life to helping the poor. He is ill, therefore he is covered with a blanket despite the fact that it's quite warm inside the room. Cool. Why is this incredibly relevant? Hmm. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. You got some bad raspy breathing. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing, and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be... Oh, that was you. You had your job. own... A special job. May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Had his own techniques for facial hair. Special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes, but also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only oh, influenza. Sorry. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. Okay. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. Is there something else that interests you? Sleuthovision. Nothing. Oh. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. Is he going to be one of these he's too good to be true type characters and something's... No, he seems genuinely good. Dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. And he seems to be dying. Do you have like failing organs and that's why you've been kidnapping people have been being kidnapped to harvest for their organs or some bullshit like that? What's this? Last year three orphans were put through medical college. Wow, that's actually impressive. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. That's actually pretty nice. Thanks to Lord Marsh. Okay, okay. A quarterman club to celebrate our horseback riding, exploration, and hunting. Well, top dude there is Marsh. I don't recognize the other two. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, uh, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. There you go. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. Is the lord a good guy, but the physician is not, and he's slowly trying to poison him or some bullshit like that? This happens. I'm, I'm, I'm running through all the cliches in my head. Hopefully, it's not any of them. Last. Oh, hello. Document with seal.
Dear Lord Marsh, here's the list of selected participants for the special event. It looks to be a very promised event. I'm looking forward to it. Strawbridge, I recognize that name. John Strawbridge, I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. Mm -hmm. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I'm quite You're not very cooperative. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Let me do that again with the frame. Oh, okay. It appears that Lord Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding the poor. Yeah, no shit. That's a lot of potatoes. And this isn't even Ireland. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor. And certainly not in a lord's house. Weird. Crazy, even. Bags full of food. Hello. Aid for paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. He has his little fancy lion and everything. Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. It's extremely honorable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. I kind of like the first person view. I don't know, I'll switch it up every now and then. Nope. It's shut tight. It's shut tight. Can I go up the stairs? No, someone has spilled lettuce. Oh, I actually am supposed to just leave. Watson? I'm intrigued by the special education program. <laughs> oh, we got some new clue. Oh. Oh, that was from dialogue. Okay. Neat. I guess now I just gotta go back to my place. It's cool. Oh, open deduction. Ooh. Okay. Missing. Why is that X'd out? and this oh, I guess you use there we go some of the facts may be interpreted differently you can always change the picture of a crime by choosing between different mutual George her special album okay I would say that's a fair assumption so far anything else open up from that run through them all just to be sure hmm what if they're not connected all right I'm gonna run with the assumption that they're connected for now basically you can't really finish this even if you get the opportunity to you can't ever finish this before you have actually completed the uh, like everything you have to find all the clues or else you're gonna screw up the uh, the case you'll get it wrong and I'll probably get most of them wrong these are usually pretty tough I really do like the first person view it looks better Holmes we need to help Barton. maybe in here my archive I can always consult with it if needed. Kate wouldn't like it if I entered her room without her knowledge hmm my archive I'm supposed to be doing something right now
Oh, right. I need to go there. Five Dorset Street. Uh, Hearst's house. There's nothing else, right? I like that you can do the deduction while you're loading, too. So. Kind of making that'll make you sick. This kind of motion blurring. Stop it. I have to relax. My shoulders are too tense. Oh, come on! You just told me you finished loading. Oh, I actually start here in the house. Yeah, it seems to be better to do it first person because the animations get less wonky. Alright, so five. That's 13, so five should be this way. Maybe. Hmm, there's no numbers on these. Dorset Street. It has to be over here. It was red, just paper. Five Dorset Street should be somewhere around here, no? Oh wait, this is seven, three, two. What the hell's five? Is this five? It's four. What number are you? Are you five? No. Here's three. Two. One. This is seven. Where the hell is five? And I saw four as well, didn't I? Didn't I? That's 14. Is it further down? No, this is West Chapel. That's house 9. This is 1. 3. Why Chapel never changes. Dirt and beggars everywhere. 5? Maybe this one? No, this is the wrong 5. This is Dors Dorset. Dorset? What are you saying? Duval Bros. Oh. The circus is in town. How lovely. Okay, so here's one. Here's two. Seven. Why does he jump from three to seven? Where's the hell's... Here's four. Unless this is five? Wait a minute. Let me look at that again. Whoa, why did it kick me out of that? Five Dorset Street. Four. Maybe it's at the other end? I didn't see any buildings, though. Thirteen. Fifteen. Eleven. There's, like, no rhyme or reason to this layout. Is this still Dorset Street? I don't know. Dumb? I genuinely can't find this. Eleven. Sixteen. Twelve. Fifteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. 
further in here? No, that's just the other side of that. I don't open the door to strangers. Okay, fair enough. Maybe five. Maybe this is five, and I have to actually find the woman in here. Let's see. Oh, oh. Loading's a bit rough. Uh. Any ladies in here? The child labor law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. No, this is not. F is there a map of like local stuff? No. Two. What's the deal with one? Why does it look so weird? go back. Maybe I missed something in Marsh's house. I won't Lord Marsh okay, you. maybe I won't. It's so weird. It's like building number five just disappeared. Or house number five just doesn't exist. The only thing that it could be Why is this? Oh, this is just the other side of. Okay, never mind. Because logic would dictate if that was four, five should be like the building on this corner? I guess not. Well, while I'm here, let me go back up to Tom. Oh, the loading's really rough. Tom? Oh, there we go. More to talk. Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh, yeah. I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. Okay, so I did have to just come back to Tom. Because apparently Building 5 just doesn't exist. What is this? This oil can also be used on weapons. This is for cleaning a gun. A ramrod to clean a rifle. This is for... Oh, this is the same thing. Wolfjack. Looks like a military. This is the hunting crew. And a key. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. Hmm. Oil. It's a rag. Ah. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil and we'll find that rifle. Anything else in here? Toby! Toby, if only I could get over here. Well, Toby right off the bat. That's pretty neat. Introduction, anything new here? Clues? 
nope. I like that basically the whole deduction thing looks like neurons connecting. Or what people associate neurons connecting look like, I guess. Well, an air of fantasy. Are we there yet? 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 Toby. Alright, we'll get Toby's opinion in the next episode. I'm really liking this game so far. It's very... It's just like the previous one, but feels a little more refined. Of course, there's still weird stuff like House 5 not existing, but I guess... I guess Building 5 is the pub. It's just really weirdly phrased. Either way, thanks for joining me. I'm back. I'll be next to fuck real soon, but until then... Bye.